Good morning, and welcome to Darren Daily, the number one morning program to jumpstart your success and help you become better every day. We are in the midst of a special series discussing the legendary leader and Hall of Fame coach, John Wooden, and his building blocks to his famous pyramid of success. So let's continue on right now. So I wanna talk about the block that John Wooden placed right at the very top of his pyramid of success. Something I love and I agree should be right at the top and it is competitive greatness. Here's why. Nothing captivates the human attention and engagement like competition. A good competition gives you a reason to get fired up and it calls upon you to bring your best. A strong competitor pushes you to reach deep and use your skills, talents, and abilities to their fullest. Having to compete challenges your character and resolve. Competition will lead you to push harder, go further, and hang on longer than you might have otherwise. It activates all sorts of human faculties, focus, reward, incentive, real-time evidence of progress, recognition, etc. All these pump the mojo drug right into your system. Now, is competition stressful? Yes, but as John said, competitive greatness is the enjoyment of a difficult challenge. Here's the thing about stress that people have all wrong. Stress is good. Stress is the stimulus for growth, for development, and for progress. Great performers welcome stress. They want it. They thrive on it. They know pressure occurs when meaningful accomplishment is possible. Look, humans are designed not to cope with stress, but to thrive on it. It is the psychological stimulant that fuels our daily performances to great heights. The human body performs at a higher level when stimulated by pressure and stress. Stress and pressure is the doorway to greater success. On the opposite side, the absence of stress or feeling pressure is a sure sign of boredom, lack of interest, and importance in what it is that you're doing. The only time high performers are worried is when their heart isn't racing. As the current number one leading PGA golfer said, the day that I am not nervous stepping onto the first tee, that is the day I quit. To use a basketball reference in John Wooden's honor, Bill Russell is widely considered one of the best NBA players in all of NBA history, a five-time NBA Most Valuable Player and a 12-time All-Star. Russell was the centerpiece of the Celtics dynasty, as most know, winning 11 NBA championships during his 13-year career. Russell holds the record for the most championships won by an athlete in a North American sports league, bar none. Now, what most people don't know about Bill is that he was notorious for throwing up before every game. But after the Celtics won their seventh straight championship and before a game late in the 1963-1964 season, Bill didn't throw up before the game and he had the worst game of his career. And he and the Celtics began to spiral. Then, when Bill pulled up to the arena before game one of the playoffs, he saw the excited and eager fans lying up around the arena in mass. The pressure set in on Bill. He went right into the locker room and puked. And then he burst out of the stall, ran into the dressing room, exclaiming to his teammates, guys, we're gonna win. Bill had finally made the connection between pressure and winning. They won the game and went on to win their eighth straight championship. Look, stress is different from distress. Pressure is different from anxiety and nervousness is different from worry. Unless you learn to love pressure and perceive stress as an advantage, you're unlikely to join the ranks of high performers. Use pressure and stress to draw out your greater performance and potential. Thus, unless you are on the 18th green of the Masters every day, or up the bat with the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth at the World Series, or on the final drive to it to the end zone to win the Lombardi Trophy, you're likely needing to create or force pressure on yourself to activate your stress response superpowers. You need to draw yourself out. And this top building block on your pyramid of success helps you do that. Your competitive greatness, as John called it. Being your best when your best is needed.